Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries I Wanna Maker. This is free on Steam, it's been out for like a month. Uh, and I've been kinda having it as, I don't wanna call it a backup, but like a contingency plan. In case I didn't have anything for Northern Lion Tries, we could always go check out this cool, um, I Wanna Be The Guy Mario Maker style game. So I've beaten the tutorial because I'm incredible. Um, I don't really intend to make anything. You know, it's not really my... I mean, I've made some Mario Maker levels, but I understand Mario. Mario was baked into my DNA as a child. Not really, I think. Mom? Um, I gotta talk to her. Anyway, but I wanna be the guy I'm familiar with it, at least tangentially familiar with it via Super Meat Boy and, you know, like the bonus characters in that game. Let's play some popular levels here um, that are, that are well-liked and have a good time. How about... Like, this seems so small. This, on the other hand, I don't know. I mean, it is, it's up there. Maybe we should just take a look at it. Um, simple needle. Play. Okay. So you can see, look, being straight up, visually speaking, come on. It's, uh, I don't want to say unimpressive, but, you know, it's a little bit more simple than your average game, or your, your Mario Makers, at least. If you're not familiar with the mechanics, neither was I really until we got through this tutorial. We play as this little dude right here. You can jump. You can shoot. If you shoot the save points, um, then you you save. I might be the only person on the internet at this point that has not beaten this game. As you can tell, though, that has not stopped me because I am extraordinarily good. In fact, probably one of the best players in Earth's long history. At video games. I'm currently 3-0 in the checkpoint league, and I hope that this video doesn't age badly. I mean, this is an Apollo level right here. Frame perfect jumps. We can do it. Oh baby! Did you see that? He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Repeated, of course. So our goal is to get to that um this section right here. Oh, that's where Apollo would have hit you with a heartbeat. Good stuff. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Hey, it only took us one minute longer than the, the best time. I'm not too mad about that. Give that a thumbs up. So the number one thing I want to say is that, like, this is... I mean, you already know five seconds into this whether you like it or dislike it, right? What the heck is this? Oh my lord. What have you done? Now I understand why this is well liked. What, what is this? This That's easy, that's very hard. Okay, I understand. Okay, and that takes you back to the start. Alright. I'm loving the music here. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin McLeod. As always, YouTube celebrity. For your royalty-free Creative Commons license jams. Um, But the, the number one thing I want to say is that it's like extraordinarily impressive to make a Mario Maker style game with indie sensibilities. Like I, trust me, I mean am I, yeah I'm supposed to be here. Um, it, it's a great idea to turn more games into the Maker style. I know that there's been like fan made like Mega Man Maker stuff that Kind of hits a similar vein. Oh my god, dude, I'm so good. How did this happen? I guess this one was called Easy. Um, but from a technical standpoint, it kind of like is mind-boggling for me. Not only to give you the opportunity to like make levels like this, but then, you know, sharing, reviewing, rating, etc, etc. It's a very impressive uh, system. And to be honest with you, we're gonna play that again. Let's try to do the very hard side though. Um, it's also... Uh, super impressive that it's released for free. Although I will also say, I wonder if it kind of had to be free in order to get the kind of user base to get this uh, off the ground, right? So I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to see how do we even get to the save point. I think we got to go like yoink and then yoink and land. Oh no, there's a vine right here, so we can land on this vine and then jump to this save point. Alright, so they weren't kidding on that one. I don't, I don't see this being too easy. 
I think we gotta kill our momentum with a double jump. I don't know, dude. I don't know about this one. This one might test my, uh, my massacre sensibilities. Because I feel like we might need to reverse our momentum with the jump. Oh my god. You know, I think... <laughs> you gotta... Oh, you know what? I wonder if... I don't think I can sneak through this, right? Like, I don't think I can sneak through this hole right here. But to be honest, it, that doesn't seem much less difficult to me than, than trying to thread the needle on this incredible jump down here. So, so who knows? I mean, this is... Is definitely wild. If I could just make it through the diamonds, I would consider myself reasonably pleased. But hey, you know what? Let's let's get out of this level. This this is obviously a little bit too difficult for me. Um, let's play this through again here. Best time: thirty-four seconds. That's frightening. Um, okay, keep it going here. What are these arrows? They send. They reverse. They reverse gravity. Hate that. Obviously, like the hallmark of these games. Is that they are, um... Oh, is that they're difficult, right? So, I don't know, Mario Maker, there's definitely difficulty inherent in Mario Maker. But it's kind of like, I always get the idea that... The level designer is kind of on the player's side. And then, these games, at least from the little I've played of, like, I wanna be the guy. My impression of it is that it's kind of like... A well-made Mario Maker troll level like it's not a level where you get trapped in a pit and then the game laughs at you but it is a level like where you walk by an apple tree and the apple falls on you and kills you um, and then the next apple tree you get ready to walk by but you're like I'm not gonna let you get me this time I know an apple's gonna fall on me um, but then the apple does not fall on you and you're like okay maybe that was like a one-time only thing and then the whole tree falls on you or, it, like, the tree picks up a gun and shoots you when you walk by or something like that. But, like, this is... It's been an insanely good year for free games on Steam. I know when people think about, like, free games, they tend to think about, like, stuff that... Without being too impolite, kind of abuses mobile game, uh... You know, fake token economies, you know, where you... Hey, you get free access to the game, but really, you don't actually get the... Uh, to enjoy yourself unless you put 75 bucks into it. Between this, you know, Splitter Steel. Oh, so close. Bomber Grounds Battle Royale. Like, there's been a lot of amazing free stuff that's come out this year. And, like, I'm, I'm enjoying the game. But even more than enjoying the game, I'm, like, technically impressed. I'm, like, enamored that this is an indie game. I, I don't even want to think about the scope and amount of work required to make something like this work. Suffice it to say, I'm very impressed. And honestly, I wish I checked it out earlier. That level, not too bad. Not too bad. We'll give, I mean, very good, but not too bad in terms of difficulty. I'll give that a thumbs up. Let's hit this again. Play. Uh-oh. Who would have thought? Oh! Oh, what the... What have you done? I did it. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Second try. Um, I'm not going to be rude, but for me personally, that one's... Uh, oh, you, do you have to rate it? If you have to rate it, that's a thumbs up. Don't get me wrong. I don't think you have to rate it, but... Right, well, let's just be positive. Let, let's give people the thumbs up. Give thumbs up willingly and thumbs down sparingly. That's That's my... Rule for criticism. What do you think's going on down here? I gotta know. Ha 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 ha. So it... Apparently there is a, a, a Super Mario Maker troll level style in here. <laughs> where you just fall into a pit and are killed. So it shows what I know. This is always like, I want to be the guy as one of those games that I think... Ah, okay. I think because I have not played it. It has like, um, ooh, uh, okay, fair enough. I think because I have not played it, it has a mythical sensibility in my mind. Like, it, it, it's a legendary game. And I, by the way, when I say I haven't played it, I don't mean like I've never even downloaded the EXE. 
I mean like I think I downloaded it and then probably did what a lot of people do, which is play like a couple hours and then go like, uh, this is too much for me. Yo! Okay. But that was, that was old NL. You know, that was like 2012 NL. We've come a long way since then. I've, I've really insulated my brain oh, against uh, frustration. You know, I consider myself uh, a much more calm and level-headed individual. We've accomplished some very difficult feats in the world of video gaming. God, that thing makes me flinch every time. And uh, what the heck is that then? Are you a health bar? Like, you, you do have a health bar. Okay. I don't know. Maybe my brain is actually, like, insulated from some of the frustration from a fan game like this and I could I could focus on the stuff that actually makes it fun instead of exclusively the stuff that makes it frustrating. That was a fun level. I'll give that a big thumbs up. That doesn't bother me. I want to be a good level. Guess what? You succeeded in being a good level. Congratulations. Real Adventure 1-3 easy. So far, consider me very impressed. Whoa, that's not how you do that. But at the same time, I do wonder if it has the same kind of uh, creativity as something like Mario Maker, right? Now, I say that, and I think I'm a hypocrite. Just to level with you, I think I'm a hypocrite. Because I'm always like, wow, look at the amazing stuff people can make in Mario Maker. You can make, like, a, a first-person dungeon crawler in Mario Maker. Isn't that incredible? You can make a level that plays the Indiana Jones theme song. And then I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I don't want this. <laughs> I didn't hit the save point. All I want is levels where you hold right and jump at the absolute edge of a platform over and over and spin jump on things as much as possible. That's that's why the Apollo levels are such a perfect fit for me because uh, they they appeal to my Mario sensibilities. I think that's true, you know, in general. I think people oftentimes say they want new things, but instead they're like, what I really want is the exact same thing. I've known and liked before. Oh, we can do that one. So you know what? I'm gonna erase my earlier hypothetical question, which was, I wonder how much creativity you can get into in this stuff? I'm wondering if, like, the most popular levels aren't just spike jumps, because that's what people like the most, you know what I mean? I mean, obviously that sounds... obvious. Let's go. Let's go, dude. That wasn't too bad. Easy money. Um, but I, 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 we did see some of the moving platforms and stuff like that. I wonder if you can do some more of the trolley stuff as well. I just wonder if it's not like Mario Maker, where like, um, oh, I mean, here we got a driving game apparently, um, where like you can do anything, but for the most part, people exclusively want to uh, play SNES Mario you know, classic jumping levels. I mean, just the fact that you can actually, like, make this in the game tells you that there's there's more creativity present than I had originally anticipated, for sure. Good stuff, good stuff. We've done it. We've set a new world record. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I'll give that a thumbs up. We did have one death, embarrassingly enough. Okay, keep it moving. I don't know about Flandre Scarlet. I'm going to stay away from that one. True Adventure 1-4. Easy. You're telling me... For one, I'm, I'm kind of stunned that this only has 200 reviews or something on Steam. Um, I, I feel like... Look, I'm, I'm not saying like I'm going to bring an incredible amount of awareness to this. But I think that there's a lot of people that would be into this. Like, this strikes me as the kind of game that could actually have like a, a pretty... Uh, large community spring up around it because i know there's people who like these fan games there's probably <laughs> a larger percentage of people who uh like watching people struggle in the fan games instead of uh actually struggling through them themselves but i don't know i feel like super meat boy like ushered in an era where people were super into platformers again and got very very good at them like it's super meat boy it isn't even really when you think about it now, the fact that the game was marketed as being so difficult is kind of hilarious. Because it's like... Sorry, I'm bad here. Why why can't I double jump there? 
Am I losing it? There we go. Um, because now, like, it seems kind of quaint, you know? The idea that that Super Mario Maker is, like, this incredibly... Or, sorry, the idea that uh, Super Meat Boy is this incredibly difficult platformer, it feels like a vestige of a bygone era. It's not easy, don't get me wrong. But I, I feel like we've seen a lot more difficult stuff. There's been, like, a difficulty inflation since then. I feel like the, the time is right for... Uh, a game like this to get a community around it, especially considering it's freaking free, dude. I didn't even hit the save point. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> and I'm sure, like, right now I'm having a good time. I got a smile on my face, but, uh, yeah, I jumped into the ceiling. I got a smile on my face, but I'm sure, uh, I was just going to say, once the levels get a little bit tougher here, I might not consider this situation so humorous. Yeah, maybe you should just wait for a millisecond. Good stuff. Good stuff, team. Yeah, maybe, like, don't stand on the spike. Good work. Oh, really? I thought we had that one. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Have confidence. Hold that jump button down. Hold the jump button down. Do not fear the spike. Only when you fear the spike is the spike worth fearing. Incredible work. You're doing it, sweetheart. Oh, baby. Plus, we're seeing other obstacles. It's not just exclusively spikes. We actually have, you know, some timers associated. Oh, <laughs> associated with them now. We got some laser beams. Spikes and pits. Jeez, what is this? Donkey Kong versus... Lead character from Kid Icarus in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. On these kind of obstacles, I just let my brain kind of figure it out. I just say, hey brain, I'm going to switch off for a minute. If you want to tackle this part, please go ahead. That was a fun level too. I, all these levels have been great so far. What else we got here? Blue Easy Worlds. They're not joking. They're not joking. Just jump over the Vancouver White Camps logos. Oh, baby. I never thought I would have such a pleasant time playing this. <laughs> like, to be honest, part of the reason that I've... Oh, we can do this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the reason that I've stayed away from I Wanna Maker is because I'm like, well, Mario is like, it's fun and it's cool and, you know... Oh, we have a sword now? Alright. Um, you know, it's not like... It's not Massacre. You know, it's meant to be like... Uh... What am I doing, dude? It's meant... Oh. To be uh, kind of enjoyable for the player. Oh, I see. We gotta hit the switch with the... Yeah, yeah, okay. Go, 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 go. Um, and I just assumed that this game would be kind of built to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game would be built to be kind of adversarial to the player. And I'm, I'm realizing now that that was ignorant. That was not the case. And instead, I'm having a great time. I will say, this sounds an awful lot like some Smash music. Perhaps by design. Yo, we're sorting up again. He's sorting up. Okay, so we're, we're getting a sequence done up there. I understand. Yo, this is a great tutorial. You will not get me. Oh, this is like... Come on. Hey, yeah, look, I might die once or twice at an obstacle like this, but yeah, you gotta wake up pretty early in the morning. Keep in mind, I'll have you know, as of right now, still the only undefeated player in Checkpoint League. Yes, one of my wins did come against Dan. Is that a problem? I have platform sensibilities. That's all I'm trying to say. What are we doing here? <laughs> Not that, I suppose. Oh, okay. You're just going to shoot the ramp. And then it's going to deflect the bullets upwards. Can we do London strats? Just tap the button as fast as possible. Can I tell you? Boss fights, very rarely a... Uh, 
a positive in these maker games, in my very limited experience, I will admit. Um, but even a boss fight as simplistic as this is substantially better than fighting a cat Bowser. <laughs> I'll, I'll take this over a cat Bowser any day of the freaking week, dude. Well, I think we've, we've gone through literally like all of the top 10 levels and I, and I want to make her. I think this is a very fun game. I think a lot of people watching this are going to be like, oh, I could see myself playing that. I could see myself making some stuff in that. Please do go check it out. Um, I'll put a link to the Steam page in the video description. It is freaking free, dude. And continuing the renaissance of free games on Steam that don't have any kind of like malevolent mobile style microtransactions for now thanks for watching hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did click the like button it helps me out a great deal i'm in the comments responding and saying hello clicking the heart clicking the thumb and occasionally clicking and clacking on my keyboard to respond to you and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future we got great milestones coming up but for now thanks for watching and i'll see you next time see ya